Hi, in this episode I'm going to look closer at raster world files. Sometimes you run across a nice map source that don't work in QGIS because it's an image without your reference. In this case I've found a nice global image from NASA, but unfortunately it is in PNG format that don't contain georeference information. However, there's a readme file with information on the picture that will help me create the reference manually. A world file can be used with a raster file to place it correctly in a GIS. As long as the raster is oriented in a coordinate system and not rotated, this file is pretty easy to create yourself. In the file, which is just a text file, there are six rows. The last two rows describe the coordinates in X and Y for the center of the top left raster pixel. The first row describes pixel distribution horizontally or simplified the width of each pixel in coordinate system values. The fourth row do the same for the vertical. The second and third rows can simply put be described as skew or rotation horizontally and vertically. As long as the raster is oriented in the coordinate system, these rows are zero. Let's take the raster image from NASA as an example. The raster is oriented in latitude and longitude according to WGS84, and therefore row 2 and 3 are zero. The top left coordinate is minus 180 degree longitude for the X and 90 degree latitude for the Y. To calculate the resolution, you take the coordinate extent of the raster file and divide it by the number of pixels for X and for Y. The Y value is given from the top down, which means you need to make this negative. The file should be named the same as the raster file, but with a different extension. For a JPEG, this extension is JPW, and for a PNG, it's PGW. As long as the file is stored at the same location as the raster file, any GIS will recognize it and place the raster file accordingly. See you next time!